Today, NASA Connect is at Keesler Air Force Base in Biloxi, Mississippi. Why? This is the home of the Hurricane Hunters, the only military unit in the world to fly directly into a hurricane and collect data on a routine basis. We'll meet one of these hunters a little later, but first, let's learn more about hurricanes. A hurricane is a violent tropical storm with damaging winds and torrential rain. Hurricanes can form in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Hurricanes are given other names in different countries, such as a typhoon in Southeast Asia, a baguio in the Philippines, and tropical cyclones in Australia. How does a hurricane form? A hurricane gets its energy from the warm, moist air at the ocean's surface. As this air ascends to form clouds, more air is drawn into the hurricane. Winds spiral inward and we begin to see the familiar shape of a hurricane. At the center of a hurricane, the air descends, forming a very quiet eye with a ring of clouds surrounding it. The weather in the eye is much different from the weather surrounding it. The winds grow calm and the sky may clear. Surrounding the eye are bands of heavy rains and very high winds. When a hurricane comes ashore, it brings high waves, severe flooding, and wind damage. Hurricanes uproot trees, smash buildings, and destroy power lines. Hurricane Andrew was the third strongest hurricane to strike the United States coastline on record. Andrew swept through southern Florida and Louisiana in 1992, causing over $25 billion in damage. Amazingly, few people were killed, despite the widespread destruction. When we want to know if a hurricane is going to affect us, we turn to meteorologists. Meteorologists are scientists who study the causes of weather, like hurricanes, and try to predict where they will go after they formed. More accurate forecasts will help prepare people well in advance of an approaching hurricane, and in turn, help save lives. For more on how meteorologists predict hurricanes, we came to the Weather Channel here in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, Jennifer, in order for meteorologists like me to predict hurricanes, we need to know at least four variables. Temperature, moisture, air pressure, and the most important, wind. Wind directly or indirectly causes all the damage from a hurricane. For example, winds produce waves which cause flooding. Anyway, the winds in and around a hurricane that push it along and produce its motion are called steering winds. Steering winds control three things. The speed at which a hurricane will move, where it will move, and whether it will strengthen or weaken. Well, Dr. Lyons, it seems to me, then, if you know information on the winds, then you can easily predict what a hurricane will do. Well, winds are important, but remember, I also have to look at temperature, moisture, and air pressure. Okay, all right, so where do you get all that information? We here at the Weather Channel receive data from weather stations on the ground, from chips and buoys at sea, from aircraft that fly into the hurricane, like the hurricane hunters, and from satellites in space. Because our atmosphere is made up of many layers, ideally data should be collected at all the different heights or altitudes in the atmosphere. Therefore, we rely mostly on airborne observations and satellites to measure these variables at different altitudes. So once you receive the data on temperature, moisture, air pressure, and wind, what do you do with it? I analyze it. Along with the data we receive, I look at previous data and how it is changing with time. I use my experience with past hurricanes to predict the hurricane's strength or intensity and its projected path. Computers at the National Weather Service in Washington, D.C. receive these data and input the data into numerical models which generate forecasts. I receive these forecasts at the Weather Channel in Atlanta, Georgia, along with forecasts made by the National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida. My final forecast is a blend of hurricanes' current track and intensity, my forecast, computer forecasts, and a forecast from the National Hurricane Center. Finally, I go on television and make a prediction about the path of the hurricane and how it might affect people on the coast and inland. Thanks, Dr. Lyons. Hey, how would you like to use computer simulations to study the behavior of hurricanes and then predict their path just like Dr. Lyons? Shelley Canwright has a scoop. 